I got this really weird burger. Black burger. It's so weird. See what it smells like first. It smells like bread. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it looks like a chocolate muffin. <laughs> Look at that. That's so weird. It's like a chocolate bagel muffin. Look, even the chicken inside is black as well. The whole thing's black. Oh, but there's some green inside of it. It's not 100% black. They lied. They said it was all black. Okay, so we have to microwave it. So it's not cold. How long do we microwave it? I don't know how to use this microwave. Look. You press all of the buttons and nothing happens. But if you press this one and then press it again, it just randomly chooses 4 minutes 30 seconds. I have some onion rings and I got some Korean beer as well. We can try this Korean beer. I also got lots of food in case the you know what spreads. Got a little pizza, got some pork, and other bits and bobs. I think 30 seconds should be enough. Smells weird. Hmm. Let me get a close up. A thumbnail, maybe. Ouch, it's hot. A thumbnail like this, maybe. I bet it just tastes like a normal burger. Mm. Korean beer is not bad. I don't know why people keep saying it's not good. I think it's not bad. Okay, let me try this black burger before it gets cold. Whoa, I'm dropping sesame seeds everywhere. Hmm, okay, let's just give it a try. Hmm. Hmm, quite good actually. Hmm. I don't know why it's black though. I don't think being black would change the flavour much. It just tastes like a chicken burger. I like it. I think it's good. Oh, look, the chicken's going black. Can you see? They should have made the lettuce black as well. I really like this beer as well. It's quite easy to drink, very light.
Korean people are quite friendly. I went to the supermarket, the grocery store, and I was just looking around and then the Korean guy working there came up to me and he asked me what I was looking for in Korean. It was a bit awkward because I didn't know what to say. I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. I was just browsing, trying to think of a recipe. So I just said to him, oh, I'm looking for meat because I didn't know, I didn't know what else to say. It's quite fun being able to practice my Korean sometimes. I feel a bit better compared to yesterday. Yesterday I just felt really lonely and depressed. I feel okay now. I'm meeting the the second Korean girl on Wednesday. You know the one I went to dinner with. Not the one wearing the white coat, so the one wearing the black coat. She's nice. She replies to me straight away when I message her. And it will be our third time meeting now. Maybe she likes me. And then I'm meeting this other girl who watches my channel on Thursday, hopefully she doesn't cancel. I was supposed to go on a date tonight, but she cancelled on me again for the second time. She said she packed her bags and she's leaving Seoul because she's scared of the virus. Which is weird, because isn't Seoul a good place to be? The virus is spreading in Korea, down down south, in a southern city, not in Seoul. So, where did she go? You can't go very far north, because then you reach North Korea. And going south isn't a good idea, because that's where it's spreading. Unless she left the country entirely. Maybe she left the country. I feel like people are panicking a bit too much about it. I know it's a very deadly virus, but there's only about 600 cases in Korea. What well, are the chances of you getting getting it from someone? If there were tens of thousands of cases, then it's a different case, different matter, but there isn't even a thousand cases yet here. I don't really feel worried yet. It's a bit annoying because people don't really want to meet up now because they're scared of the virus. And I came here to meet people, so it's getting in the way. Two girls cancelled our dates because they were scared. I feel like it's really bad luck. I finally got away from the marriage, and now I can meet anyone I want to, and then this stupid virus comes along, 
ruins everything. Sometimes I feel like I'm cursed. Because I went through most of my 20s without girls liking me. And then I finally blew up on YouTube after I got married. And then loads of girls liked me. And then I left my marriage, so I'm free and single. And now hardly any girls are interested. And then the virus comes along, which makes traveling difficult. Hmm, I'm quite a good burger. I dropped all my sesame seeds. I might just have my onion rings and watch Star Trek and then maybe I'll have a slice of pizza. I don't really feel very hungry. And then I'm saving... I'm saving the pork. Sorry, I'm very gassy right now. I'm saving the vegetables and the pork for tomorrow's live stream. I'll do a live stream tomorrow. Do some cooking. And I got this hamburger thing as well. Got some kimchi, got a Cajun chicken sandwich, so I feel like I'm pretty well prepared for food for a few days at least. Maybe I can make two meals. It's quite a lot of pork, isn't it? Use half of it tomorrow. Use half the mushrooms, half of the onions. Should be enough for two meals. I have my onion rings. Watch some Star Trek Next Generation. Oh, and the good news. I managed, guess what, I managed to take out the garbage. There was a big pile of garbage bags, so I just took mine down, put it on top, easy peasy. But I think I did it wrong, because everyone else's garbage was inside... Everyone else's garbage was inside this special labelled plastic bag. I just had a plain plastic bag, so hopefully they take it away. And, oh, I've got a banana. So I feel like I'm getting used to life here. I've got the garbage sorted out, got the food sorted out, got the washing machine sorted out. Shower room is good. It's nice and hot. Yeah, I quite like living here actually. I've got a supermarket just five minutes down the road. It's not really a supermarket, it's more like a grocery store. But they sell most things you need. Vegetables, they've got basic meats. Some people were saying I should leave Korea, but I don't think I want to. I don't think it's necessary. I think it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. And I've still got girls that I want to meet. So maybe this girl that I like, maybe she'll meet up with me again. I'm not sure if I already explained it. I think I did. I said that she said, let's hang out again sometime. I know it's kind of vague, but it's the best I could get out of her. It's not a ghosting, she didn't unmatch me, so I feel kind of hopeful. And if all fails, I've got the Russian girl coming end of March. And there's this other girl who watches my channel, she's coming mid-March. And I've still got Korean girl number two. And there's also this other girl who's in Korea who watches my channel. So I still feel like there's plenty of options, even though I blew my chances with the Essex girl. Which is really a shame, because 
I was really hoping that she would come to Asia and we'd go on a trip together and then we'd go back to England together and then she'd be my new girlfriend. I was really fantasizing about that when I was in Japan before I left for Korea. But I really pissed her off and now she's barely even talking to me and I feel like she doesn't like me. Anyway, you know what they say, there's plenty more fish in the sea, don't get upset. Don't cry about one woman, Daniel. Stop being a baby. When should I upload this video? I think I'll upload it tonight. Because tomorrow I'll do a stream. And then Wednesday... Tuesday I'll stream all day. And then Wednesday I have a date, and then Thursday I have a date. Trying to get a date on Friday with this different girl. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, goodbye.